My name is Kenton Cool. I'm a professional mountaineer and we have the Tex Energy Infinite Air 18. Now this is an off-grid portable wind turbine. I've never put it up before, so we're gonna see how easy it is to pull up. Uh, it's the first time I've, I've ever actually seen it. So this is the Goal Zero battery that we're gonna charge up with it. And this is the unit. As ever, uh, Jerry from Tex Energy has produced something which can only be described as beautiful. Let's look at that. It, the fit is remarkable. Now, I've seen Jerry put it up, but I've never put it up myself. So here goes. We're going to take out the main unit. There we go. And we've got a base plate to put on it, which is tucked in here. I'm going to take off the little wing nut. This is the first production unit. I feel quite privileged and blessed to be able to play with it. Here we go, put that on there. Now this only needs to be finger tight by all accounts, so we just wind that up. We got that on, on place uh, and we've got to build the tripod support unit. So we've got the legs all in here, just gonna put this down a second. We've got the three legs. I'm just gonna get the bits out and we've got the leg extensions here i'm going to lay it all out so i know what i'm doing so they're going to tuck onto there and then we've also got the legs and and this little device which is actually quite important so we're going to put the legs in pretty obvious which way around they go and it's a friction fit in there look at that there is a beautiful friction fit into those and then we've got the second extensions and it's totally intuitive. You can only put these in one way around. Look at that, in they go. You could stand it up like this, but this, this little device here, which goes through these little cleats is what holds it all together and in place. Because right now, if I lifted it up, that in theory could fall out. But by tightening these up, this is super clever. By tightening these up, the whole unit comes together in a super snug fit so there's no screwing this in there's no moving parts as such and all of a sudden by cinching that up look that's not coming out that's super clever i like that a lot now on the bottom of this tripod we've got some little spikes again they slot in i'm just going to cinch that up i've never done this before this is actually proving to be a little bit easier than I thought. Right, so we're in the South Downs today, so this should, in theory, just fit very nicely in there. We're just gonna give it a little snug push down. And just to be on the safe side, we're gonna peg it out, just like I would my tent. So that's that together. Now we're getting into the super exciting bit. We've got the tail unit. It looks a little bit like a tail on a Spitfire or something like that, doesn't it? So this goes on the back and the locking nut is super important so it doesn't vibrate itself loose. There we go. Getting so excited about putting the blades on. The blades are my, my favorite part, I think, but we're gonna put the electrics on first. So the little electric unit here. So that clips on into there and just tighten that up apparently it's fully waterproof then this is a little charging unit so it's got a 18 volt output hence the name it's also got a 5 volt output we'll put that down there and that will connect into the battery so we're using a gold zero sherpa and that and we might as well connect it now this is the big charging unit from the 18 volt out and into the side there. All right, let's put that to one side. And this is the bit that I've been waiting for. Look at this. This is the exciting part. This may not look like much, but this is a thing of beauty. This is obviously the blades there's four blades one spare just in case and these have been years in the development 
<clears throat> the two colors. This is a, a silicon, it's like a soft silicon, whereby if you do accidentally put your hand in the blade when it is rotating, apparently this can do up to 2000 RPM. If you do put your fingers in it or your hand or your dog walks into it, whatever it is, this is soft. It will give you a, a, a thwack, but it won't actually break the skin. This slots into the aluminium beautifully milled uh, sort of front piece and they were only fit in one way around he's got a little lug on there so they just slot in I've never done this before and the friction fit is exquisite and that fit is just on the front here just cinch that up and we are good to go look at that there's a very slight breeze here really there's not much at all and that is away look at that that's generating electricity. There's no pollution, no environmental damage. We're totally off grid. And if I just look at the, let's turn that on. That is charging. I'm blown away by that. That, I, I could just keep that going all day long. It's generating just a soft noise as well. That's quite soporific off-grid power generation through the wind. That is incredible.